Hello, welcome back to the HVAC Budget Channel. Today we're going to be looking at sheaths out of metal for Gerber multi-tools. Now, just to clarify, and I'll try to put this in the title, this is from Adam Savage's video that he did several years ago. All right, so let's look into this. This is sort of that sheath for the Leatherman Wave Reimagined. And this is just the simplified version. If you don't have many tools in your workshop, this is what you can make. All right, so what I did here is I wanted to make a version with a belt clip on it. So I went to Walmart and I got this tape measure for $2.50. I tried to get the cheapest tape measure possible. There's a lot better belt clip options, but that's what I did. And I went ahead and I drilled a hole through this metal and then I just used the pop rivet gun which can be had for about i think twenty dollars at a hardware store with several pop rivets i did have to smash down the pop rivet and grind it down with a grinder as well and then it actually works fairly well and it uh, locks into place now with these sheaths all you have to do is bend the metal metal more and with this you get a pretty tight fit this helps it to not uh, come out at the end it prevents it and then on the sides the metal you bend the metal in to give that sort of spring retention for the Gerber diesel and so it does not fall out the other side all right so I wanted to take you quickly through just a quick couple steps of how to make these all right so first of all what I did is I ended up making a cardboard template for every single multi-tool. Now on this one I messed up because I made this side a little smaller, but on my other templates it worked out pretty good. So what I did is I usually marked out how large each multi-tool was, got a general idea, and then I used three quarter of an inch on each side. This one obviously was like half an inch I messed up, but fixed it later but anyway three quarters of an inch here and then on this side it's just around a quarter of an inch to give that top cap to keep it in place so that's pretty much what I went with and it seemed to work good for almost all the Gerber multi-tools and then you can just draw this tab at the end and then out of one piece of metal it's fairly easy just to bend and make the sheath so for instance this is one that I just whipped out really quick for reference. I used a metal marker. I On all the other ones, I just used a pen, and I actually scraped the paint and left some pen marks and almost scribed it. And I actually like that better. I was just trying this metal marker pen since I had it, but I really don't like it because it smudges. But anyway, using some reference lines, what I do is I start with this edge, and I put it in my bench vise. Yes, I know the proper way would be to use a metal bending tool. I work in HVAC uh, at the office. We have all kinds of fancy equipment, but I'm not sure they really want me to use that for making Gerber multi-tool sheets. So I just put this edge in my bench vise, bend it. And then the next step I would do is I would actually use these heavy duty pliers here and I actually would just take and I would bend this side and I would bend this side and then you've got that side of the sheath bent for you. And what I like about these pliers is they have a fairly uniform head and it gets you a fair amount of torque. Now obviously these don't turn out perfect this is not for the perfectionist, but it's for those who don't want to spend hundreds of, hundreds of dollars on a sheath. And um, obviously you can probably come up with uh, maybe some ways to uh, rectify and tweak this idea a little bit. And then of course on the end, you can bend this tab up and that's your stop. But anyway, it's a fairly simple procedure. And then you can also supplement it with a belt clip as well. So in the end result, I actually got some bed liner paint and I was able to spray this down. It actually turned out pretty good, except with bed liner paint, it seems like there's always some imperfections. So there was some imperfections on this and it's still sort of a work in progress, but 
For what I'm using this for, I'm trying to make display sheaths for the Gerbers. It actually didn't turn out too bad. Well, I hope, hopefully that helps, gives you some ideas, and it's a fairly painless process, pretty easy to do. Uh, I'd use some old sheet metal laying around, but I'm sure you could go to your hardware store and find a piece of metal, and you may not even have to paint it. All right, hope that helps. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.